In today's video, we're going to talk about the MCU, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. We have Marvel's The Echo Series coming out very soon, and it does look pretty cool, but we will find out if it's going to be Daredevil level of violence. Also, we have Deadpool 3 coming out later this year. And that's the only movie we have coming out. But there is so much potential for the MCU going forward. Because realistically, Marvel's was their only real big flop of 2023. So, if you are new around here, make sure to subscribe to never miss any of the Kaiju, Monsterverse, Marvel, DC, pop culture based content that I try to cover on a daily basis. If you are new around here, let me know what the freaking hell is going on with the MCU. And is Kevin Feige and his lieutenants going to save the MCU? Find out in 2024. So, there is some pretty cool updates and information going around about what is going on with the future of Marvel in the sense of Deadpool 3, in the sense of the new Avengers team, and in the sense of how we're going to get to this two part saga being Secret Wars, which is now part one and part two. Although most people read that over a year ago on Reddit. So if you could check us out on Twitter, WarStuG. And also if you could check us out on Instagram, at WarStu to see the beautiful face behind the beautiful voice. So the Super Bowl is coming up. And according to sources, we will get in the first teaser trailer for Deadpool and Wolverine because there is no official title for the movie yet at the Super Bowl Sunday, the 11th of February 2024 is when we are getting the first tease for Deadpool 3. And I do believe this because realistically at Comic-Con, we've had multiple trailers when they've only been shooting movies or TV shows for weeks. So we should definitely be getting a trailer for Deadpool 3 then. So like always, if you follow Scooper information, Reddit information, 4chan information, real inside information, trade information, there's always a lot of hypergly. There's always a lot of controversy. There's always a lot of twists and turns in the plots. So we all know the basic plot for Deadpool 3 is going to follow on from Loki Season 2, when right at the end, Loki became a lantern holding the multiverse together by himself, allowing everyone to have free will. He's become Jesus, essentially. So the TVA have been monitoring the Council of Kang. They're monitoring Kang they know about the Ant-Man 3 situation. We get a tease of Ramatut. So where does this lead? Deadpool 3. So the main plot for Deadpool 3 has always consistently been the same. Although a lot of the Reddit and Scooper information came out was actually fake, the main narrative has always been the same. The TVA are going to go searching throughout the multiverse for prime versions of heroes who can save the day against the threat that was coming. And apparently in Kang's Dynasty, it was going to be the Council of Kangs. But now, According to sources, it's just going to be some massive multiversal threat. And then towards the end of Secret Wars, we're going to get a variant of Kang being the Beyonder. And apparently Kang will be getting recasted at some point, maybe. But realistically, Jonathan Majors being fired for no reason, really. Because if you actually look into said court case, right, he actually only got charged with hurting his former girlfriend when hurting her hand when he was trying to run away and get away from her. Now, I might get some she's for saying that, but that's realistically what the data tells you. That's what the information out there says. So whether it's right or wrong, whether you got fired or not, that's not my place to say. But Jonathan Majors getting fired doesn't really change anything in the narrative. So the TVA will be going out to the multiverse and people would assume it's going to be Wolverine and Deadpool going to recruit people. And some trades have even published this article saying Deadpool 3 is going to be what the multiverse of madness Doctor Strange 2 should have been. Now, that's a bit weird because if that's the case, then we'll be getting loads of cameos. So what I find interesting is people love to call themselves reliable. So my time to shine hello gets the rep of having such a good reputation. Patrick Stewart and Ian McKellen are going to both be in Deadpool 3. July the 7th, 2023. And then the guy who some people seem to think my time to shine is a girl. It's actually a guy. I actually know exactly who it is, but it's not my place to expose that account. Says the following. He's not in Deadpool 3 unless it's a late cameo. So apparently now Magneto, Professor X and Magneto are no longer in it. And this guy comes out and says, things changed. So they were going to get the OGs, Patrick Stewart and McKenna, and all of a sudden they're no longer in Deadpool 3. Well, you don't exactly just bring these two in for fun. So were they ever in the movie is actually a better discussion. So it's not my place to say who you trust for information, but a lot of these Twitter accounts, I like to follow these Twitter accounts. I don't actually physically follow them, but if information they say comes out, I, I would, you know, go over it because sometimes they get stuff right. 
So apparently those two characters are no longer going to be in it. Interesting. Seeing as it's quite public knowledge that Kevin Feige said he's literally going to be throwing everything into this movie. And the fact that it's the only movie of 2024, it's interesting. So can we get some toast? who is also the same person as My Time to Shine Hello. They are literally the same guy. It's come out and sent some information. I personally don't think they're very reliable, but a lot of people seem to think they, they are. So let's kind of go over what they say, because this information here, it's ready level stuff. Emma Cornyn, Cassandra Nova, will look just like the comics version in Deadpool 3. She will have the iconic bold head, a white shirt with a wrapped corset underneath, brown Tench coat, high waisted, ten pants, with a brown belt on top of her telekinesis abilities. She will be able to open portals. Okay, interesting. So, if we go to the comic book interpretation of her, she's essentially able to build herself a new body by mimicking traits of any character that comes in front of her via copying DNA. So she really is pretty OP because she can mimic anything she can see in front of her in a roundabout way. So this next line here is kind of more interesting if you go over that information first. A chase scene was reportedly filmed in the UK. I can have it confirmed this was filmed because I can literally see it see it in front of me but i can't use footage because some youtubers that i know personally have had a lot of trouble after using said footage so i won't use the footage a chase scene was secretly filmed in the uk that was made to look like new york city with cassandra nova chasing wolverine and deadpool with her portals now as you said she can mimic stuff so in order for her to create these portals, is Wong around? Is America Chavez around? Is your boy Doctor Strange around? We don't know, but there's going to have to be somebody else in said scene for her to be able to mimic the portal ability. So that's pretty much all we know about Deadpool 3. The problem with Deadpool 3 is information keeps changing. Like Mobius was supposed to be in Deadpool 3. Now he's not. And there isn't really many confirmed cameos either. There's a lot of people that would tell you there's a lot of confirmed cameos, but most of the confirmed cameos have actually been debunked. The only really confirmed cameos we've got in Deadpool 3 thus far is Elektra, X-23, potentially. The Fantastic Four, maybe. Wanda, we don't know. And all the footage we've seen in the leaks that came out. And it's got to the point where Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman themselves are be like, yo, stop freaking ruining our movie. So they put out a bunch of fake stuff that people think are real. Although I don't really necessarily think leaks do anything bad. I actually think leaks and actually help the movies when they come out because Spider-Man No Way Home had no chance of performing like it did unless, you know, people reported stuff. So also in the news, According to Alex Perez, and Alex Perez got a lot of information right, he literally got the whole of Loki Season 2 correct. World War Hulk could release before both Avengers 5 and Avengers Secret War. It will be a Civil War level Avengers 4.5 film uniting all the Avengers against a savage Hulk and other Hulk. I believe that's true. I don't know if they have the rights back from Universal, though. That's interesting. So something that's quite interesting, Alex Perez also said this. Doctor Strange 3 will explain why Stephen Strange will not show up in Avengers 5. Spider-Man, wait for Spider-Man 4. Thor, Thor, wait for Thor 5. Daredevil, wait for Spider-Man 4. Doctor Strange, involved with Clea in another dimension, and I really won't expect him to jump in Avengers 5 if Doctor Strange 3 pans out, as I'm told it will. Now, as I said, Alex Perez is more credible than all the other scoopers combined. Be why? Because he actually gets information right. You can only really say an, a scooper or an insider is credible if they've got a lot of information right, and... If you were to put a tier list, Alex Perez would be right at the top. And realistically, Daniel RPK would be near the top, but only if you're talking about trailers. That's why I find it hard to report information sometimes, because you don't know if it's going to be true. Now, Alex Perez caused a bit of controversy when he came out with what he presumed would be the, uh, the new Avengers lineup. And to be honest, I honestly think the next Avengers is going to flop if this is the lineup, because realistically nobody cares for these characters captain america okay nobody cares for the new captain america unless the rewrites they're basically reshooting the whole of captain america for unless that movie absolutely completely smashes it captain marvel falcon hulk wong valkyrie shang chi katie ant-man and wasp that's the avengers team so what we went over earlier when people were asking where's spider-man where's strange where's thor where's daredevil he basically said spider-man wait for spider-man 4 thor wait for thor 5 daredevil wait for spider-man 4 so if that is the next avengers team up yo the mcu's in trouble because the problem we have with these characters are 
Nobody cares for them. Sure, people like Ant-Man, but it did just under 500. Wasp as an Avenger. I mean, Captain Marvel, people like her, but uh, most recent movie flop. I mean, Hulk, uh, yeah, it's a very weak lineup. They're really going to have to do a lot between now and Avengers 5 and 6, which I presume is why we're going to get Avengers 4.5, which could be a World War Hulk. But as I've said, I don't know how true this information is. But Alex Perez is more credible, but that doesn't mean he can't get things wrong. At least when Alex Perez does get stuff wrong, he actually comes out and says he's got stuff wrong. So if that's going to be like a Civil War level Avengers 4.5, uniting all the Avengers against a Savage Hulk or others, that would be interesting. But if it's the Avengers, if it's the new Avenger characters, that no one care for, it will be interesting. If we go back to the other information, but I was talking about Avengers 5 and 6, when it said that Spider-Man, Tom Holland would be the lead. Well, potentially that could happen. And are we ever going to get the infamous? I mean, I think they should do this in Deadpool 3, but there's no way you're getting a Hulk. There's no way you're getting the motion capture on set without it leaking. Wolverine fighting the Hulk has to happen, but I don't know when it would happen. Maybe in Avengers 6, Secret Wars, that would be cool. So like always, guys, I would try and cover more Marvel stuff. I've wrapped up a bunch of stories, information, leaks, whatever you want to call it, has come over uh, over the last few days. I try and do longer videos going over everything rather than doing independent videos talking about absolutely nothing. Yes, we've all heard Ryan Gosling is going to be the new century. Get your boy freaking Henry Cavill in there. No one freaking cares for Ryan Gosling. Realistically, sure, the dude did well in Ken, but no, he is no century. Get Alan Richardson, who plays the Reacher. He was Hank. In Titans, get him in there. We need someone that's already jacked. I mean, yeah, sure, let's wrap it up. So Deadpool 3, some information, potential trailer at the Super Bowl. Pretty cool. Also, all the information we went over to do with Deadpool 3, the World War Hulk movie, potentially. The Avengers lineup, which seems pretty bad. They really are going to have to build them characters up. Red Hulk is going to be in Captain America Brave New World Order. So apparently that movie is getting reshoots mainly because they want it to be more like Civil War. I don't think they're going to get anywhere close to Civil War because people cared about the characters. That's the biggest problem Marvel has is no one cares for the Marvel characters outside of Thor, Spider-Man, Strange, maybe a handful of others. And that's probably the reason why we're having issues with the Fantastic Four casting is no one really cares for Marvel anymore to the point where actors are stepping away. Oh, Steven has conflicting projects so he can no longer be in the mcu i mean personally i'm not buying that recasting kang at this point what you can do bring robert downey jr back and chris evans back uh yeah you could do that but not till secret wars and it will be a bit fake and dishonest if they did that because that literally would be to bring the audience back which they could do anyway but if deadpool 3 does not bang when you've got ryan deadpool and Hugh jack and wolverine together which people have wanted for many years then the mcu and marvel comic book genre specifically marvel is dead deadpool 3 does not make at least 900 million i don't even know if it will it, people like i put a post up the other day people are like yeah it's gonna bang a billion why i, I don't just strange skin and that had a bunch of different characters in it so it's gonna be very interesting so like always guys please like the video please comment to help the algorithm push the video out and then we'll catch you in another video guys very soon catch you later